Lots to talk about on this morning after Election Day as Donald Trump has been declared the winner of the 2024 presidential election. Good morning. I'm Michelle Bash. And I'm John Aaron. The Associated Press called the race about a half hour ago after the now president-elect won the battleground state of Wisconsin, giving him 277 electoral votes to Vice President Harris's 224. Republicans have also apparently taken back control of the Senate. Trump spoke in West Palm Beach in the wee hours of the morning, declaring victory. I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected your 47th president and your 45th president. Supporters of the former president in our region are reacting. The Republican Party of Virginia says Virginians and Americans nationwide have chosen to chart a new direction for our country rooted in personal freedom, economic opportunity, and national security. And Maryland's Republican Party is offering congratulations to the man it calls the 45th and 47th president of the United States. Both posted statements on social media. Now, Vice President Harris and her supporters gathered in D.C. last night at Howard University. WTO Luke Lukert is there this morning. He joins us live as we continue our team coverage. Luke. Yeah, John and Michelle, the party here at the yard at Howard University started off hopeful, but changed drastically as results started filing down. Thousands of supporters were told to go home just after midnight and that the vice president would not be addressing the crowd. And now with a Trump victory, she's expected to speak today, but the timeline for that address is not clear. Here on Howard campus, it's a good thing classes are remote today. Large sections of the campus are still blocked off by riot fencing and extra security. Georgia Avenue, however, and a few other roads have reopened, but many of the side streets here are still closed. Reporting live at Howard University, Luke Luger, WTOP News. All right, Luke, thank you. In Maryland, meanwhile, Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrooks won a hard-fought battle for a Senate seat, defeating Republican former Governor Larry Hogan. WTOP's John Doman was in College Park with the Alsobrooks campaign. Angela Alsobrooks makes history, becoming the first black woman to represent Maryland in the United States Senate. And she thanked a raucous crowd in College Park for their effort and support. And I ran for the Senate because of all of you, for the young people and the elders of our country, about the future that you one day will inherit and the country that I know we all can be. She'll serve in the Senate with Montgomery County's Chris Van Hollen. She's going to be a great United States Senator. And I'm so proud to have been with her from the earliest days of this journey to the Senate. In College Park, John Dome and WTOP News. Now, Hogan conceded the race to also Brooks about two hours after the polls closed. WTOP's Dick Giuliano reports the former governor urged his supporters to never give up on the work of changing Maryland and the nation for the better. The party barely had a chance to get rolling when Governor Hogan took the podium, his wife Yumi by his side. Well, tonight did not bring the outcome we had hoped for. We can all hold our heads high. I can tell you, we left it all on the field, and I'm so damn proud of the effort. Thank you all. The former governor, whose campaign was based on putting people over party, urged his supporters to get behind Senator-elect Angela also Brooks. As governor, I had the privilege of working closely with Angela. She's a dedicated public servant, and all of us should wish her much success. Governor Hogan said it's time to come together, time to move the state and the nation forward. In Annapolis, Dick Uliano, WTOP News. And if you're just tuning in, repeating the breaking news of the morning, Donald Trump has won the presidential race. In money news coming up, we will talk about the effects it's having now on the stock markets. It's 607.